Hey guys, hope you're good. Will Strongest Man starts in three days time. Um, we've got 30 athletes, a lot of new faces have come uh, and put their, put their bodies on the line to become the strongest man on the planet and they're all fighting for this big gold trophy here. I mean, just look at it. It is, it's just one of them childhood dreams to own a trophy like that. It is the pinnacle. I mean, to be the world's strongest man is, is probably one of the most childhood dream titles that people dream of, if I'm being honest. You ask a man, do they want to be the world's strongest man? If they say no, they are lying. So just to put it out there, I, I think that the world's strongest man title is one of the best titles in the world to wear. Every boy and man out there wants to be the world's strongest man. If you don't, you're f Okay. I've got the top 30 athletes in the world that have all qualified through various processes. Uh, some have returned from going off like previous experience, uh, i.e. that you know that what they've done in the past, that they could, like come the top five at World's Strongest Man. You can almost guarantee they're going to get an invite back. Uh, some of them have qualified through the Giants Live process, so they are a, a Giants Live tour that tour mainly the UK. And if you come like top three or top four in their events, you get a qualific qualification for World Strongest Man. Other avenues are the official Strongman Games, which is official Strongman. Uh, again, very amateur route, but if you win the official Strongman Games, you're more than likely going to get an invite to World Strongest Man. So there's lots of different ways and avenues uh, of qualifying for World Strongest Man. Here's the list. So um, in no particular order, Tom Stoltman from Scotland and Luke Stoltman, the World Strongest Brothers, they are coming back. Again, Tom Stoltman uh, has won it twice in a row, two years in a row, which is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, how many people have done that in the existence of, of humanity, of World's Strongest Man? Not many. I think less than four. Top, it might even, might even be with him and one other, I don't know. Luke Stoltman is a World's Strongest Man finalist as well. Um, again, yeah, I think he came seventh last year, which is very commendable. So we've got the Stoltman brothers. We've got the Ukrainians. We've got... Pavlo Kordiaka, who's just won Europe's Strongest Man, and Novikov, Alexei Novikov, who's, who came second at Europe's Strongest Man, who won World's Strongest Man back in 2020. So the Ukrainians this year are very, very strong. Um, Pavlo's performance at Europe's was just solid, absolutely solid. Just, you couldn't mock it at all. He's just consistent, top three in every event, just smashed out of the ballpark. The Americans, of course, we've got Brian Shaw, four times World's Strongest Man, coming home for his fifth. Uh, we've got Evan Singleton, Mitchell Hooper, Trey Mitchell. These are very, very good strong men. Evan Singleton's had just had a, a really unfortunate series of events the last few times he's competed well strongest man, but he's a solid strong man. I put him up there with the top ten in the world easily. Uh Trey Mitchell, just every time I see Trey compete, he is the probably the most improved athlete. Tends to just get stronger and more mobile and more faster. Uh, Trey Mitchell is always the most improved for me. Mitchell Hooper, the, the, the new rookie on the scene. Hooper is, I mean, just won up the Arnold's classic, you know, one of the strongest uh, strongman shows on the planet. He just he won it, and it looked quite easy for him, you know, to be honest. So that puts him in really good steed uh, coming into World's Strongest Man. Uh, we've got a new, a new face from the USA, uh, uh, an American football player, Thomas Evans, uh, the Green Bay Pack football team. Again, he's making a real name for himself. He was a reserve and he's come in now as uh, one of the top 30. He is looking really strong as well. British guys, we've got Adam Bishop, we've got Graham Hicks, we've got Luke, uh, Luke and Tom Stoltman, we've got Gavin Bilton, uh, Paul Smith, Mark Felix as well. I think this is like his 28th World's Strongest Man. Not quite that many, but he's done quite a lot. Just going to crack on with the list now. We've got AVRs, Schmuck Stellis, Kevin Fares from the USA as well. So he's absolutely solid strongman. E4 Melstead, uh, a very very underrated strongman in my opinion. Doing very well, very strong from Iceland. Uh, Rhino Heinler, again, very formidable, good strongman. Bobby Thompson from the USA, uh, really impressive static power. Matthias Kaliskowski's back. Uh, I think he's had three years out. From the world's strongest man due to injury. So Matthias Kalaskowski from Poland. 
again, he's got to be a top seed for this competition. Um, Gavin Bilton, Spencer Remick, Eddie Williams from Australia. Uh, you'll have seen him on America's Got Talent doing the singing. He's a good strongman as well. Konstantin Janashia from Georgia. Yeah, really good strongman, but just riddled with injuries this last few, last few years. Um, Matthew Rag, Gabriel Ruhum, Fadi El Mas Masi, Masri, Jacko Schoenwinkel, John Stephen Carabouf, Mark Felix Pat Dwyer, uh, Sheik I am Bibby Sano. Uh, I am Bibby. Um, I am Bibby is probably one of the most powerful men you'll ever meet in your life. You know, could press world records above his head. Uh, got a decent deadlift, is, is good on moving events such as like car carry and yoke and stuff. So, you know, we've got some absolutely amazing athletes. Top tier, so seeded. So seeded athletes, uh, basically you have five groups of six men. And in every group, you always have two athletes that are seeded. And they are seeded because you don't want the top 10 athletes in one group. Because if you do that, then you're going to have a few athletes that deserve to be in the top 10 that don't make it. So how they work it is they seed them of like, let's put your strongest man in one group. Let's put second place in another. Let's put USA strongest man in one group. Let's put second place in another. So they do it to make the final. So the best athletes get through the final. So seeded athletes, this is my opinion. Of course, I haven't spoken to anyone. I've got no insights. I think Tom and Luke Stoltman are going to be seeded. So they're going to get first or set, you know, they're going to be the top two of a group. Uh, Pavlo Kordiaka and Novikov are going to be seeded because they just came first and second at your strongest man. Um, I think Adam Bishop's going to be seeded because he won Britain. So he had a, he had a bad Yorks, but yeah, he's a solid Britain's strongest man. Um, I think Mitchell Hooper is seeded just because of his performance at the Arnolds and his performance last year. Trey Mitchell will be seeded. Uh, AVR's Smokstellis, Kevin Fares will, Matthias Kaliskowski will, again, just came second at the Arnolds. Um, Brian Shaw will definitely be seeded because he's four times World's Strongest Man and always made the final. And I'm going to say Luke Stoltman as well, I think, will be seeded. We've got our, our, our 12 sort of top... I've, I've got my sort of top 10 athletes going through to the final of World's Strongest Man. So the, the events in the groups... Got a loading medley, so it was some kind of, I don't know, it'd be like a monster medley where they do tyres, sacks, anvils, those kind of things. Deadlift machine where they're deadlifting and put the put the barrels in uh, and basically do a lift, put another barrel in, lift again. I think that's going to go to, uh, like, it'll hit, like, 360 kilo, and then it'll just be, rep. who can do the most reps at that weight? So that's going to be an interesting one. Log ladder, like they did at York's Strongest Man, so it'd be, like, 120 kilo up to 180. Um, again, that's going to be interesting. Conan's wheel for distance. Kettlebell toss, which is an awkward one. That's where a lot of people fall down. And then first place from every group goes straight through to the final. Second and third place, doesn't matter what the points say. So second could have 10 points. Third could have one point. Second and third go against each other for a stone off for that second place spot going into the final, which... Upsets a lot of people, but I actually quite like it. I think it separates the uh, the men from the boys, so to say. End of the day, if you're not going to win, uh, if you're not going to be good at the stones, you probably don't deserve to be in the final. So uh, many of arguments to be had about that, but that's just the way it is. Who do I think is going to like do amazing and is going to coast through in the in the in the heats? I mean, someone like Iron Bibby. You know, he's got some great events in there, like the deadlift great event, log ladder great event. But then you've got stuff like the Conan's Wheel. He's just so big, so barrel-chested. People like Trey Mitchell, so big, so powerful. He's got such great events, but I think events like the Conan's are going to really struggle. It's really going to crush down on them, really going to be hard for them to beat the smaller guys. And you only need one weak event, and you, you basically, you know, you can really screw yourself up. So there are risks of... Some of these big, powerful men not getting through to the final, like Tom Stoltman, you know, Luke Stoltman, they're, they're, they're going to really struggle with the, the sort of Conan's wheel and those kind of things, but they're going to do amazing on the other events. Okay, let's go to the final. So my top 10 for the final. This is my, this is my dream final going at, like, just my sort of prediction. My top 10 is Tom Stoltman, Luke Stoltman, Pavlo Kordiaka, 
Alexei Novikov, Mitchell Hooper, Trey Mitchell, uh, Evie Arshmonks Dallas, Kevin Fares, Adam Bishop, Evan Singleton, Brian Shaw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 11, but whatever. Events for the final. Fingles, fingers. It's going to suit the big, tall, powerful men. Brian Shaw, Tom Stoltman. Um, the lean athletes always tend to do quite well as well. Tall and lean. Pablo Kordiaka. Uh, Evan Singleton. Mitchell Hooper. So, I mean, who's going to like do well in points for the first event? I think Tom will. I think Brian will. I think Mitchell Hooper will. I think Evan Singleton will. Uh, I think Pablo will. You've got a good mix of five, six guys there that are going to be coming, really fighting for that top spot. I, I'm going to go for a, like, a complete out there. I think someone like Pablo could win the Fingers Fingers just because he's such a... And a bit like Alexei Novikov, just such an efficient athlete and just, just zones in and gets the job done. Attacks it. And that's what you're going to be with the Fingers Fingers. You've just got to full-on attack it and go for it. And that's what the Ukrainians do. So that's the first event. Second event is the Kanak deadlift for reps. So that's the big toolboxes. I think it's like 360 kilo for reps. Again, that's going to lean into the big pile for men. People like uh, Mitchell Hooper, uh, Brian Shaw, Tom Stoltman, Trey Mitchell, Adam Bishop, Alexei Novikov. And this is where people like Matthias Kalaskowski fall down uh, in, in, in those sort of events. Um, so again, like, just all over the place with the, with the deadlift. It's, some people are really good at it for the rep events. Some people are really bad. So next event's a shield carry for distance. And again, I think with it being such, I think it's going to be a really heavy shield. So I think it's actually going to suit the bigger guys. I would normally go for smaller guys like Alexei Novikov, Pavlo, etc. Uh, but I think they'll struggle with the, with the heavy, heavy weight. Um, so I'm going to go like, someone like Tom Stoltman to win the shield. Brian Shaw to be right up there. Sort of top three, top four. Uh, Evan Singleton, uh, Trey Mitchell, even though he's so big, I just think he's got that superior back start, that glute hamstring back power just to keep himself upright. Because what, what wears you down in the uh, carry events is all that strain on your posterior chain just pulls you forward constantly. So you always find the big, big deadlifters, big stone lifters are going to do very well at that. Um, so Tom, Brian, Mitchell, Evan, Adam Bishop will be good. He's got a really strong posterior chain as well. Of course, the Ukrainians are going to do well. I just don't think they're going to do as well as the big boys. So Pavlo and Alexei Novikov are going to, definitely going to be in the top five, top six. I don't think they're going to be, you know, that's when they lose the points. Uh, next event would be the dumbbell max. Now, I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know if they're going to have a dumbbell at low plates or they're going to have Dumbbells that going up and on up. The world record for one on dumbbell is 150 kilo. So I know they're going to be going for 151 kilo just to set that new world record. Do, can someone do the world the world record? Yes, 100%. I mean, Matthias Kalaskowski holds it. He's there. He's in the final. Um, so Matthias could do it. He's got such an explosive uh, sort of movement to get under it and dip and get his arms straight. Alexei Novikov. I think him and Alexi are going to have a, a, a phenomenal battle for that first place spot uh, in the in the max dumbbell. Brian Shaw, of course. Uh, Tom Saltman's got an okay dumbbell. But I think that's why he's maybe going to lose some points. Evan Singleton, I, a bit of an unknown for, for, for Evan. Mitchell Hooper, I can only assume he's going to be bloody good at it. Same as Trey Mitchell. Luke, again, just average. You know, I don't think he's going to be up there with the top top three guys, unfortunately. Next event is the bus pull, and I'd imagine it's going to be a heavy one this year. Like, just going off the lineup, it's going to be a heavy bus pull. So, again, the big heavy guys like Tom Stoltman, Brian Shaw, Trey Mitchell, um, Evan Singleton, Mitchell Hooper, they're going to be right up there for the bus pull. And then the last, last event will be the, the Atlas Stones. Um, and you've got to hand it to Tom Stoltman. I don't think he can be beaten on Atlas Stones. Trey Mitchell. Is going to be right, right behind him, up his ass. Brian Shaw is going to be up his ass, and then the rest are just pecking away for fourth, fifth, sixth. I'm afraid. So, I mean, you've got to weigh up all the events. The, with those six events, who do I think is going to win overall? It's going to. I think it's really leaning towards the heavier man this year. 
for the final. I think the bus pull's going to be heavy. I think the stones are going to be heavy. Uh, I think the dumbbells are going to be heavy. The deadlift's heavy. The you know the loading's going to be heavy. I think it's going to be a heavy, heavy final, and I think that's going to suit the bigger, taller, heavier guys, the guys with bigger body weight. So I'm going to go. You know, my top. I'm not going to say who's going to win because you know I'm, I'm all friends with these people. You know, I don't want to put anyone down. My top three are definitely the Brian Shaws, the Tom Stoltmans, the Trey Mitchell, just because of the sheer size and body weight of those guys. I'm going to go for them for top three. Pavlo Kordiaka and Alexei Novikov, I think, are going to be just on their tails. Of course, they've got a chance of getting on the podium. I'm just going off what I'm gauging, uh, what I can see in front of me right now. Pavlo or, or Alexei Novikov can definitely still win this, 100%. I just think it's going to be a tough ride for them. Uh, I really do. Uh, Evan Singleton is going to be right up there. Um, uh, Luke Stoltman, again, mid-range. Uh, Adam Bishop, I think, will be a little bit lower uh, just because he's um, the overhead. He tore his tricep bad last year, so I think that's going to make him struggle a lot. ARs, Smok Stellis uh, will be right up there. Kevin Fez, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, Matthias Kalaskowski as well. Let's think, of, I mean, Matthias kalaskowski has got some really good events there, but it's the deadlift. He's got such a poor deadlift, and that's where you lose the. But you've got to, you've got to be coming top three, top four in every single event to win the world's strongest man. If you come fifth on something, you're going to really struggle to come back from that. Uh, and I, you know, he's definitely not in the top five of the deadlifters in that in that final. I'm afraid. So, but then, as I say, Kaliskowski could win the boss pull. He's not the heaviest guy there, but he's just got such a good low down center of gravity technique he's so good at the dumbbell so there's a two potential uh a shield carry as well i don't know why i haven't like brought matthias a bit more on this he's got that grit of just anchoring and just go for it fingers fingers actually the more I think about it the matthias kaliskowski so i'm changing my mind a little bit as you think about more of the events um it's just the deadlift that lets him down i'm afraid but he will stop the big guys winning those events and getting away with points. So I think it's going to be a very tight final. A very, very tight final this year. Who's going to win? You hit me up in the comments. You tell me who's going to win. I've, got, I've just told you my top three. Um, but you hit me up in the comments who you think is going to win uh, World's Strongest Man 2023. It is at Myrtle Beach. Anyone in the UK, it's a bit like a Blackpool. Uh, anyone in the States, it, it's basically a Las Vegas on the beach. So uh, a bit like Venice Beach. Nice venue. Uh, the web is great out there. It's right by the seaside. So I'm looking forward to getting out there, getting some fresh air, getting some sun, some good food, seeing all the guys again, seeing everyone compete. See, you know, it's, For me, it's great. I'm, I'm presenting for Channel 5 UK and uh, CBS America as well so i'm doing both those roles and of course i've got all the social media duties with the img with the, the facebook team and everything else and i think they've got some interesting guests coming out this year so that's going to be fun uh announcing those and teaming up with those uh so yeah keep an eye on the channel i'm going to be giving you guys updates on results where i can i'll be doing interviews with uh, the athletes as they're coming, you know, off the back of events and how they're feeling, how they're doing, you know, any injuries, I'll be, get, you know, I'll be asking them what's going on. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on the channel, guys. I, uh, I'm looking forward to this one. I don't think it's like I can't pin down a winner. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Right, and guys, that's it. I've I've bored you enough. So there's top thirty. There's my top ten. There's my top three. Um, as I said, I don't I don't mean any offence to anyone saying that. I'm just just what I see, what I gauge, performance. You know, I mean, and people say like Tom Salton has just come like seventh or ninth for Arnold's. It doesn't matter. Like, it does not matter. Say the same with Luke Stoltman. It doesn't matter. Like, their goal is Will's strongest man. And unless they're training for Arnold's, which I'm sure if they dedicated their life to training Arnold's events, I'm sure they'd do much better. Their goal is Will's strongest man. So they're obviously just very anchored in eye of the tiger. That's the way they want to go. So again, no offense to anyone. I'm, I'm, I'm got, as far as I'm aware, I'm good friends and I'm pally with everyone. I've just listed there. Um, and good luck to everyone. And, and I hope no one gets injured. 
that's always the downfall of these these shows. You know, some, something bad happens. I just hope no one gets injured this year. I hope everyone comes away uh, with all the biceps and triceps and hamstrings intact and you know alive mainly as the as the as the main one. Well, then, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, keep an eye on the channel for Will Swingers Man updates. And I, I guess it starts in three days time. So I shall see you out at Myrtle Beach the next video. Big love guys. Take care.